Welcome back to part three of our motion graphics tutorial series. This part is concerning ID mats, a sweet solution to multiple problems. In this part, we use ID mats as masks. Now I might call this a problem, but actually it's more of a solution, and you'll get the best results when you purposefully use this technique. Let's take a look at an image of a 3D typeface and a separate render of a Wii animated creature flying about. What we're going to do is use ID mats to integrate these two elements together. Here we are in our 3D scene. And we can see that each letter is a separate object. We'll choose each letter, right click, choose Object Properties, and under the Object ID field, we'll assign an ID of one for the first letter. And we will continue with the other letters, giving each a unique ID. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, done. We render our image in the same way we did in the first part of this series, making sure to enable object IDs. Back in After Effects, we have our image on the timeline. Let's apply the effect, 3D channel, ID mat, and choose our ID to be one. Now we can see the first letter only. Duplicate the layer and change the new layer to display ID two. Repeat this for each layer. Here I have each letter named and colorized for this tutorial. We'll turn on the dragonfly and choose just the right moment to show each layer on top of our animation. Now the layers correctly obscure the dragonfly. We'll use this composition as an alpha inverted track mat and show the original text below. There you have it. With a little planning and foresight, this is a great method which allows you to remain flexible in your workflow and not become cornered by the technical constraints of your software, which results in a more creative final product. Coming up in the next episode, things are going to get exciting as we look at depth of field and unlock the freedom of shallow focus without the expense of long 3D renders. We'll keep our depth effects interactive with the convenience to use it even as an afterthought and add production value to our renders and compositions. If you are new to depth of field and after effects, this method will open your mind to new possibilities. Stay tuned for that. My name's Lucas from Livewire Productions. Have a look at our website please like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter. And feel free to leave any questions and comments below. So there you have it. You no longer have to feel as if motion graphics are dark and full of terrors. And if you're from Brisbane like I am, I hope you're enjoying the extra sun.